Uh, this is MX KDI here of another uh, Dell Vostro uh, 230. This is the mini tower. It's going to be a uh, disassembly, a uh, teardown. I'm uh, removing the motherboard, power supply, and the DVD burn hard drive. So, use latex gloves, get a Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to remove the front panel right here. Uh, we're going to remove the optical drive here, DVD burner. Here holds by the two screws right here. Got that removed. Yeah, you gotta disconnect the power cable, go into it, and the SATA cable that's connected to the optical drive. So we got the drive the optical drive. Now we're gonna disconnect the hard drive. It's gonna have four screws in here, but I only have two. Get that disconnected. Uh, disconnect the SATA cable going to it. So we got the hard drive disconnected. Okay, now we're gonna remove, uh, disconnect the power supply to 24 pin and the four pin going to power has a secure lock, so you have to clip it. Uh, be gentle here in the side. It has a secure clip right there. You just press it down very gently and it releases it, the lock and the four pin. Same thing with the four pin, it has a secure lock. You just press it down a little bit, it releases the lock. Uh, okay, now I'm going to remove the power supply, turn it over. It's got four uh, screws in the back, so just remove those with the Phillips screwdriver. And it's got a, let's see, so now we're going to remove the power supply. There's going to be secure lock right here in the top, right here in the corner, top corner right here. You press it up a little bit, you press it with your, with your screwdriver right here and it releases the power supply. Now we're going to move the motherboard. What you're going to do is disconnect the audio connector right there from the header, the SATA ports. The, the, you're going to disconnect the SATA cables right here that's going to the USB, uh, the SATA ports right there. Disconnect the cables, two cables, and the USB right here, the connector is going to the USB header for the motherboard and the front panel. Get that disconnected. I'm just going to hold and do it right here. That set of cables, get the USB and the front panel. Okay, I got that disconnected. So just take the Phillips screwdriver and take out the screws. It has uh, three, six, total eight screws, the two in the bottom and the three in the middle and three in the top. Get that removed. Now, here's all the screws, the eight screws, and remove the motherboard. 
disconnect the rear system fan right there. Three is going to the motherboard, a three pin, three wire connector. Get that disconnected. Here's the motherboard. Now we're going to remove the memory. Now we're going to disconnect the, the heatsink fan, the cooler from the processor. And remove the processor, the Sucker 775, this is Intel. And if you want to remove the battery, you could do that. Just use a flathead screwdriver and press it down and remove the battery batteries on the battery socket. Okay, so motherboard we removed. Now we have uh, the rear system fan and the IO shield removed. That's about it. And the IO shield right here in the back, the back plate, the IO shield, just you tap it down and you should remove it. And it comes right out. Be really careful with this IO shield. It's really, really sharp edges. So you got to wear latex gloves. So we got that removed now. Remove the rear system fan here. We removed the 92 millimeter system rear fan. Okay, we got that, and so that's about it, guys. So we just tear down the whole disassemble. There's a PCI brackets that's hold by the one screw, the secure lock. You can get that removed if you want. It's gonna be right here in the back. So that's about it, guys. Uh, this is for the Dale Vostro 230, the mini tower. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.